We welcome you to Urbana Middle School for the pinnacle of middle school basketball in the state of Illinois. Tonight, the IESA 8-4A boys basketball state title game is on Urbana Public Television. I'm Joey Wright, flanked to my left by Miller Calhoun and to my right by Larry Larson. Miller, we'll start with you. You and I have called a few IESA state title games in our day. Always such a special event. Real quick, tell us about Springfield Grant, one of the two teams we'll see tonight. Well, I'm looking at Springfield Grant here in the warm-ups, and they got a lot of smaller guards. They're going to look to try to attack the basket, kick it out for some corner threes, and probably play some pressure defense. Absolutely. And to my right, Larry Larson, a fellow freshman at Bradley University. Larry, tell us a little bit about East St. Louis. 25-2 and two entering this state title game tonight. Well, they sure passed the eye test. If you just look at their roster, they're huge. Yeah. These guys are huge, and they're just middle schoolers. So that's huge. Uh, a player to watch for them, number 20, Terrell Scott. He had 20 points in the semifinal game. Whenever you see a team from East St. Louis or that general area, Metro East Downstate, you better be scared. They yeah. love their basketball down there in the St. Louis area. They're going to be a fun team to watch. Absolutely. Always such a special atmosphere when you talk about the IESA 848 state title game here at Urbana Middle School. It's Valentine's Day, and I love this event. And it's coming up for you next on Urbana Public Television. Springfield Generals one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, she got a huge block. Grant pushing the pace. Left corner for three. They're going to call that a two. It was a two. Seconds away from tip-off here at Urbana Middle School. Springfield Grant, they are the home team. They are the Generals. East St. Louis Clark, the away team. They are the Cardinals. Pop some popcorn. Crack a cold beverage and, beverage and enjoy. It'd help if I could talk. The IESA 8-4-A title game is underway. And Springfield Grant setting the pace Whoa. early on. Randy Kyles gives them a 2-0 lead. The Springfield crowd has traveled well, and they got excited about that basket early on. They have. They brought several fan buses. The atmosphere here electric. East St. Louis Clark, their first possession, Terrell Scott, right side. Looks, finds Amari Johnson back to Scott. Scott at the top. To the corner, three ball, four. Clark is in. 3-2 favoring Clark. That one nearly scraped the ceiling. Rainbow shot, as they say. Both teams start out in a little zone right here, matchup zone right here. Grant inside, they'll get it to go. Number five, Kishon Singleton Lott was their leading scorer in their semifinal win against Madsen Colin Powell. Had 19, has two tonight. Grant no good, rebound will stay with the Generals. Randy Kyles pushing the pace, driving in, gets blocked. Fighting for it, and it will be maintained by Grant. Singleton Lott kicking it out. That's Javion Bardwell. Bardwell looked for the three, didn't take it. And East St. Louis Clark, they're going to say it was out on Clark. Grant maintains. East St. Louis crowd arriving a little bit late, but they're packing in the stands over there. Lots, yep. of, lots of energy and emo emotion so far early like, in this one. Looks like their bus has just arrived. Miller, excellent point. Driving in is Grant. Nice pass. Oh. Nice block. They'll call it a foul. I don't know about that one, Joey. That looked like he got a lot of the ball and not a lot of hand. No protest from the St. Louis Clark bench, but yeah, you're right. A questionable call that could have gone either way, and it puts Artez Hansen at the stripe, Hansen scored five points in that win against Colin Powell. First free throw attempts tonight, first one no good. And that's a, that's a big foul, guys. First one early on in this one. He's he's their key. He's the middle part of their defense. So if he picks up another foul, that's going to be key. Second free throw is in. Five three lead for Grant. And you make a good point there, Miller, especially in middle school. Offenses really run through bigger guys like that. They're just harder to stop. So that could be key. Fouls early on on him. To the wing, and Maxwell Jackson, no good. Singleton Lott pulls it down. Pass. Grant's going to come in there and interrupt it. Check that. Clark came in to interrupt it, and it will stay with Grant. And set to inbound, Tyre Lott. So Lott will take it up for the Generals. Looks and finds JV on Bardwell back to Lot. And 
Now East St. Louis back in a little bit of man right here. Pushing the pace with Singleton Lott. Didn't get it to go, and the rebound corralled by Clark. We'll see if Clark can settle down and get something here. Nothing since that first three of the game for the Cardinals. 25 and two from East St. Louis. Three ball from Williams, no good. Rebound will stay with Clark. Clark to the corner, looked at it, didn't take it. Inside to Demarion Brown, now a three ball, no good. Similar to that first three they hit, couldn't get it. Pushing the pace is Clark and Singleton Lott establishes the lead at seven to three with 3.05 to play. Feeding off the home crowd, lots of energy, especially on the defensive end. They've done a great job shutting down their big force in the middle in Brown. Three ball from Clark, no good, it was short. Rebound tipped up and Singleton Lott comes away with it. Pushing the pace, he'll pull up for three. He doesn't get it, it was a little short. Rebound is Grant and Artes Hansen is putting it back. 9-3, 2.40 to play. You know, East St. Louis on the offensive end here can't settle for those outside jumpers. They gotta work the ball into the big guy, work it around, get a good shot, get it, try to get it to the basket. And that right there is not a good shot. Kept in the possession of Clark. And that right there was. Ooh, little hook shot from Terrell Scott. 20 points in their semifinal win against Algonquin, Algonquin Heineman. Singleton Lott gets blocked. Clark with momentum, but Grant will steal it away. Grant going the other way. Floater oh. will go to the line. See who they call this on. This could be big. It'll be Randy Kyles that, at the line. That'll be his second. And that will be the second foul against Demarion Brown. Although it's not like East St. Louis doesn't have an influx of big guys coming in off their bench, so. That's true. Kyle's at the line, first free throw is good, and the crowd behind us erupts. Springfield Grant seated to our left and behind us here at the gym tonight. 10 to five, favoring Grant. Kyle's goes through his motion, second free throw is in. 11 to five, and Clark will take it up. I feel as if, if Springfield continues to control the pace of this game, they're most definitely gonna win. They're quicker, they're a little bit smaller, but still can play with East St. Louis's size. Excellent point, Larry. Three ball, it looked like Clark was gonna take it. They're gonna drive inside instead, in and out. Rebound, Singleton Lott, tipped up in the air, and Clark will Record a steal, driving inside all the way, and one for Caleb Williams. Clock is yet to stop. Clock keeps ticking. And now they're starting to notice the foul occurred with about a minute 30. And I think they, they hopefully will put some time left on the, on the clock. It ran down a minute 22. I don't, free I don't think they realize. No. How much Did not fix it. Could be big later on. Tyre Lott gets it to go, 14 to eight. Defensive laps there, gotta keep your composure. Still tons of basketball to play, obviously. Can't get frustrated. Yep. Different so far, guys. The Springfield's getting layups. East St. Louis is settling for tough jump shots. Well, and a jump shot there that was way short for Clark. They'll get their own rebound and put it back up. Rebound in the hands of Grant, and they'll get that to go. Nice job, Randy Kyles going underneath the defense and getting it to go. Timeout called by Clark. Crowd comes alive. 40 seconds left in the quarter. I've been looking for that timeout for a while. Quite honestly, I thought he was gonna call one early on in the quarter when Springfield really grabbed the momentum early yep. on, but here's the timeout with 39 left in the quarter. It's been a pretty quick first quarter, Larry. It has indeed, not just on the clock, but pace-wise. Yeah. This is Either a, of these teams have slowed down. This is this is the best, like this is the, the great pace to watch. I mean, this is this is g great basketball up and down. That's what you yeah. want to see. It's like a it's like a high school game. The pace that these tournament games move at, really. I mean, it's good basketball. Thirty-five seconds left in the quarter. 
Grant has, uh, rather, Clark has yet to do much inside. We'll see if that changes here. They'll kick it to the wing, and Jackson. And to the right wing, now right side, and Scott going inside for Brown. Couldn't get it. Grant's going to get the steal. 15 seconds left, first quarter. Grant pushing the pace, left corner for three. They're going to call that a two. It was a two-pointer for Grant. Three seconds left, first quarter. 17 to eight, and the floater is good. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Maxwell Jackson, I believe that was, ends the first quarter on an excellent note for Clark. They needed that, and they got it. What a sequence that was. I thought there was no way that who shot that right there? I, I, Bardwell, I believe. It was for either Springfield Grant. No, it was oh, uh, yeah. Kyle's, I believe. Ky Kyle's yeah. crazy fadeaway jumper. He was almost out of bounds. Yeah, kept his balance, and what a job for Clark to get that to go to end the first quarter. And it seems like the quarter was over before it started. Yeah, man. Two of the most unlikely shots in a row. You got a, a shot from behind the basket, and then a floater from three point. I mean. Talk about crazy sequence of yeah. events, as you mentioned. Yeah. So, Larry, I'll let you transition to play-by-play -play here for the second and third quarters. But first, a question for Miller. Miller, as a player in a situation like this, what are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you, I when mean, the game starts, does it just go away? No, this is, it's it's completely out now. I mean, okay. this is the second quarter. Springfield Grant didn't look a little, not one bit nervous to me at all. I mean, 17 points in six minutes is really good. But they, now you got to turn it up. you got to turn it up another notch and uh, get stops on defense and hit shots. They're in their office space now. Larry, take it away. Crowd getting fired up for the second quarter. <laughs> We're underway. East St. Louis sets up the offense. Into the corner looking for Brown. Knocked away. That zone defense for Springfield. Shutting down, neutralizing Demarion Brown. Yep. They haven't been able to do anything inside. And that's a great point. I mean, they, they probably knew they couldn't guard him one-on-one, -on -one, so they've had to go to the zone. Williams at the top of the key over to Jackson. Jackson dribbles out. Back over to Williams. Williams to the top, to the free throw line. Scott over to Williams. Taking their time, East St. Louis. Looking inside for Brown, he's fouled. Ball will be inbounded on the baseline. And that's the first time we've really seen yeah. Clark try to move inside and yeah. do anything down there. And that's what they want to do. You know, if you're going to shoot a three, get it, get it, get a three from inside out. Johnson finds Williams on the inbound over to the corner for Jackson, looking inside again for Brown. That will stay with the Cardinals. That was not a good pass. Not a no. good pass right there. No. You've got to be pat with a guy, with a player like Brown. You've got to be passing up. That's where you got to work it. You can't really work it side to side. That's not going to be as uh, advantageous. Johnson inbounds to Scott, and his shot is no good. Brown cleans up the rebound, puts it in for his first bucket of the evening. Three ball from Kyles, no good. Generals clean up the boards. Kyles drives, floater, short. Rebound for the big fella. Watch Williams this. pushes forward. Oh, good pass. Got to make those. Springfield Generals one-on-one. -on -one pushing out huge block. Wow. Amari Johnson gets the crowd going. Fast-moving action. Bardwell drives Euro step, And we're going to get a travel call. Wow. Look at the Clark crowd. They all made the travel sign simultaneously. Wow! I've never seen anything all, like that. They all got up at the same that. time, in sequence. Oh wow! That was that was that was Couldn't impressive. We're gonna have to run the video back after that one. That was impressive. <laughs> Full court press now. Springfield is employing. Williams drives over to the corner for Jackson. The shot is no good from Williams, and the rebound by Amari Johnson. Amari Johnson, Larry, has come alive for these Cardinals lately. Here. Absolutely. Just what they needed. The crowd has come alive as well as the Cardinals are just down by two. Into the corner. Back out to the perimeter for three. 
He got it. And this side of the gym comes alive. Keyshawn Singleton Lott, the player of the game thus far for Grant. Singleton Lott got excited after that one. Firing up the three ball symbol on his forehead. Brown. Couldn't be easier for him on the inside with the response bucket. I'll hold that thought. Bank shot, no good. Tip in, no good as well. Cardinals come down with the rebound. Cardinals swinging it around. They'll slow down the pace a little bit. Jackson over to Scott. Travel. Or turnover, travel call. Miller, I was going to say, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious from this second quarter that the talk in the Clark huddle after the first quarter was go inside to Brown more, work the inside. They've done that here in the second. Yeah, they have, and now they're getting great looks at the basket. And even when they're not getting it to him, they're attacking the lane, and if they miss, he's, he's there to clean it up. Bardwell slows it down a little bit for the Generals. They'll set up a play. Kyles over to the corner for Bardwell. Bardwell drives back outside. Three ball for Singleton. Lott is off the mark. Brown comes down with the board. That was a little bit of a force shot right there. He was, he was feeling it a little bit too early. Scott with the layup rattles out. He cleans up the rebound. Gets that one to go. It's a one point ball game. The Generals take a timeout. It's 20, 19, Springfield. This is what a championship game looks like, guys. Both teams going at it. Both teams fighting hard. It's awesome. This is awesome. Let's see. Let's see how long, which team is going to fold for first. Both of these teams are really good, and I doubt they've been in these kind of close games the whole year. So let's see how they handle this. Yeah, I haven't been to a home game for either side, but to that point, Miller, this this atmosphere and this intensity, uh, this is not an average game for no. either side. Again, there's like no, you like you mentioned, go ahead, Miller. No, I was gonna, I was just gonna say there's nothing like this. I mean, this is state. This is for the title. You're gonna remember this for the rest of your life. So, and these guys have a lot of talent. They've still got four more years of <laughs> Illinois State basketball to compete in. So this is just the start for some of these guys. This is a great way to kickstart their high school careers. Absolutely. It's Bardwell over to Lot. Lot back over to the corner. Bardwell for three short. Scott comes down with the rebound. He pushes ahead. Up top to Williams. Williams over to the corner for Johnson. Johnson finds Brown on the inside. He gets the layup to go with a nice bounce off to the iron. High school coaches around the, around the area get to know Damari and Brown. <laughs> Watch out. Three ball from Lott. Yes, sir. 23-21 now in favor of Springfield Grant. Interesting to see here if they're gonna go back to Brown. Nope. Three ball. Barely nicks the rim for Jackson. Springfield comes down with the rebound. He get a foul call. And guys, Clark seems to be kind of mixing it up. Sometimes they'll go to lot, other times they'll look for something on the perimeter. Interesting to see that both aspects uh, of the game are, are being implemented in their offense tonight. You know, if I, I don't, I, I would keep going inside. I mean, if the, one, the, the shots they've taken off of one passes have been short and not, not close. So I would keep going inside because that's where they've had their success. Lot over to Bardwell. Bardwell takes the three from a different area code. Nothing but nylon. Five points for Grant now. 26-21. And they're practicing those shots in warm up So. That, got to, that has to tell you something, that they could shoot it from out there. East St. Louis will look for the response. Brown gathers the ball. Williams, the floater, doesn't go. Rebound, Scott, that won't go. Brown the rebound, he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. And I want to say how impressed I was there with what Brown did at the start of that possession. Almost lost it, gathered it back up. 2019, that's an integral part of a big man's game. You've got to have some handles, and he displayed them there. Yes, indeed, and he's got to be able to knock down free throws. First shot from the stripe is off the front of the iron. You can hear the rumble of the Grant fans here stomping on the bleachers trying to affect the shot. Brown's it second free throw, no good. Generals gather the rebound. 
Hansen's shot in the paint, no good. East St. Louis comes up with the rebound. Springfield out in transition. That's a good foul call there on Brown. That's gonna be his third. A little too aggressive there. Got the arm of Hanson and that's- Three fouls early on, I, that's, that's big. I guarantee, I guarantee he blocks that or changes that shot if he just walls up. Yep. I guarantee it, I have the same problem. I know exactly what he's doing right there. I have the same problem. And if he walls up, he's not, he doesn't have the foul and I guarantee they don't have the bucket. It's not rare for you to finish with more fouls than points in a game. That's it? true, that's very true. Hanson at the line for his first of two. Got it. One of, one of the things that also shows me, though, is how much trust they have in him, though. Yeah. He was out here with in the first quarter still with two fouls. A lot of trust with the coaching staff. Brown heads to the bench now. Second free throw is good for Hanson. No reason to play Brown on the rest of this half. See what no. you can get without him and bring him back fresh for the third. Under 50 to go here in the second quarter. Cardinals swing it around. Cardinals out of East St. Louis looking for their first ever title. The shot off the glass a little too much. Springfield comes down with the rebound, ball loose on the ground. What a shot Max for Maxwell Jackson, off balance, gets it to go. That's Based on where that came and what he just did, that might be the play of the, uh, of the half to keep them in this 15 seconds to play. Bardwell slows it down, presumably holding for the final shot of the quarter. 10 seconds on the clock now. Oh! Two three is blocked. Six seconds on the fast break. Lays it up, and that's oh, blocked. Oh, block party! Randy wow. Kyles hustles back on the other end and gets the block. Love Cardinals. The, love the effort on both sides here, guys. Cardinals will have 3.2 on the clock to get a shot off before the half. They're down 28-23. Here goes Grant! Kyles for three. <sighs> No good at the buzzer. They'll go to the half, up 28-23. This place would have erupted if that had gone in, Larry. Oh my God, this is what a state championship game is about, guys. This is exciting basketball. Nothing but action there in the first half, wow. I am in awe. This is, this is just, I think we need a break to regroup and come back for the second half. Absolutely, I'm, I'm we do. One of the fastest first halves of basketball that's been that, that of that high quality, man. Yeah. I can't wait for the second half. We're excited. Again, yep. Springfield Grant up 28-23 over East St. Louis. We'll be right back. Welcome you back into Urbana Middle School where the middle school state basketball 4A, if I'm not mistaken, championship game is being held. Springfield Grant up 28-23 over East St. Louis Clark and Joey and Miller. What a game it's been. Yeah, what a game it's been. What a game it's been. I mean, I, I, it's hard to put the first half into words. Just a quick thing here on East St. Louis Clark. First quarter, it looked like maybe Grant would run away with it because they were uh, operating outside of the perimeter and weren't being all that efficient. Second quarter, though, they moved inside to Demarion Brown, and he brought them back into it. It's a five-point deficit for them right now. Miller, if he can stay out of foul trouble, this is going to come down to the wire, and I can't wait. Yeah, that's the key storyline I'm watching. Demarion Brown, three fouls. I'm watching that one, and I'm watching to see Keep, if the teams keep keep pushing the ball, and which team if the key is going to be which team takes care of the ball. No matter what, team has less this turnovers. place will erupt. No matter the result, as Kyle sets up the offense for the Generals. Bardwell penetrates, back out to Lot. Lot's three ball is good. That's a tone setter. That is what Grant needed coming out of the break. Coming out of the locker room firing. Williams dishes over to Jackson. Williams to the inside, back out to Jackson. Excuse me, Johnson. Excuse me, that is Jackson. 
Jackson drives back out to Johnson, who overthrows his man. Out of bounds, that's turnover. A, that's a terrible mistake for Clark. I want to point out that we saw the third place game. It was very similar. Close at halftime. Uh, one team, uh, Colin Powell in that case, came out of the half strong. Wound up pulling away with it. Clark has got to tighten up and do a better job here. Kyle's in the corner. He drives, floats, yes. Randy Kyle's taking over here at the start of the second half. Here's Jackson. Starting it up for East St. Louis. Johnson to the inside to Brown. Back outside. Ball pushed out of bounds on the baseline. We'll head back the other way with the Generals. What I say, Joey, that's two turnovers to start the half here for East St. Louis Clark. Not I, looking too good right now. I don't think this is going to turn into a lopsided win for Grant, but Clark has got to tighten up sooner rather than later. Bardwell with a nice no-look dish. Pass completely faked out to Marion Brown. He had no idea what was happening. No. Artez Hansen lays it in. The three ball. Oh. Free St. Louis is off the mark. That is not the formula for Kyles Clark. pushes. Drives by his defender. Layup rolls off the rim. Springfield will reset the offense. Clark got lucky there. They need to tighten up and make a stop right now. Springfield now up 12, 35-23 with about four to play in the third quarter. Kyles back up top to Bardwell. Bardwell for three. That's a deep three, no good. You've got to As get Lott that comes down with the rebound, he's a guard. Another deep three. That one's air ball. East St. Louis Clark got very lucky on that possession, Miller. They did. And, uh, but, but what I like about what Springfield Grant's doing, they're spreading them out, and they were picking apart the defense. They're t taking the driving lanes when they're available. They're doing a great job. Johnson's shot, excuse me, that was Williams' shot is no good. And there's Kyles out on the, excuse me, that was Hanson out on the fast break. Couldn't be any easier as East St. Louis Clark takes a timeout as they find themselves down by a wide margin now. 37-23. Yeah, when did this become a 14-point game? I mean, this is not at all what, like we saw in the in the first half. I like the timeout here from Mason Clark. They've got to tighten up. They've got to get something going on offense. I mean, it's a 9-0 run here to start the quarter, and you know, if they don't get this turned around soon, they gotta they gotta. I mean, they gotta start pressing or something because 14-point lead is is a lot in, in a middle school game when you're this late into the game. Absolutely. Defense has been okay. I mean, it's the state championship game. Both offenses are capable of scoring points. But when you go three minutes without scoring in the state title game, you're likely going to get burnt. Yep. And that's what we've seen here. Miller, if you're East St. Louis Clark's coach, what are you saying to your team in the huddle right now? I mean, I, you got to want it. I mean, this is for the this is for the title, man. I mean, if you got to pick it up right now, get back in it, grind, get it, get stops on defense, string about three stops together. Put that with three baskets, and they'll be right back into this thing. Miller, I, I look back to the title game we did last year, Bloomington Evans and Urbana. Urbana was down by a lot. They got a few baskets and made it a game. They did. I it, mean, it looked like they were down Evans. by about 20, and they 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 just dug deep. They What they did was pressure, and they got turnovers, and they got easy buckets. It looked like Bloomington Evans was going to run away with it. They wound up winning, but not after Urbana fought back and made it a game. We'll see if Clark can make it a game. I think they can. Williams passes into Scott. Looking for Johnson on the perimeter, gets picked off by Bardwell. He'll set it up. Singleton Lott, the dish, the three ball. Short, Great rebound job. gathered by East St. Louis. Scott drives, going coast to coast. He lays it in with a sweet finger roll. They need a stop here, but that's great. I want to point out that Demarion Brown did a great job of closing out on that last three. Another turnover. And a great deflection right there by Scott. Scott comes down hard. That's Ball what they got to go do. back to the Cardinals. That's what they got to do. They got to get pressure and get some turnovers. That's what they got to do. Deficit down to 12 now. Williams will set it up. Williams over to Jackson. Jackson penetrates, oh. looking for Brown, deflected. Generals come up with it. That's a good look. Singleton Lott pushes forward. There we go. His pass is picked off. Cardinals got numbers, the Euro step. The layup is good for Johnson, what a move. 
And a great job by Mason Clark to dig in after the turnover. Create one of their own and get the basket. Springfield breaks the press. We got a foul call on the floor. See who it's on. Excuse me, that's going to be a timeout taken by Springfield Grant, I believe. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Now they, East St. Louis has sure played better out of that timeout. They have. They've cut the deficit. Four, four run, a quick little 4-0 run right here. Let's see if they can keep it going after this timeout. they got to get a stop. Got to keep getting stops. That's what it comes down to at this point in the game. We saw Clark employ that full court press and it really seemed to work. The generals seemed to be rushing a little bit out of that timeout. And I'm sure that's what coach is discussing in their huddle. If I'm the generals, this clock can't go fast enough. I'm spreading it five out and I'm working the ball around it until I get the matchup I want and driving it. I'll tell you what I do if I'm Grant, I'm attacking Demarion Brown. Foul him out and this gets a lot easier for you. Singleton Lott turns it over, the spin move from Williams. He loses the handle. Athletic play there by Hanson to get up onto the stage rather than colliding with it. That Quite was a, the maneuver there. That's what we call a wolf right there. He sprint back from behind and tap from behind out of bounds. Great, great hustle there by Grant. The Eight. dribble drive for Scott. The floater is good. Single digits, eight point game. Kyle's over to Singleton Lot. Here's Bardwell back over to Singleton Lot. Lot looking to set something up. Inside to Hanson. Hanson is pickpocketed. Generals come back up with it. Bardwell swings over to Singleton, or excuse me, Lot. His three ball's no good, but they get the rebound and lay it back in. With Clark's size, they should not be allowing Grant to get so many offensive rebounds. Scott's jumper from about 14 is off the mark. So Lot comes down with the rebound, he pushes ahead. Singleton Lott was looking for Bardwell in the corner, but Brown came down with a deflected pass. Three ball in the corner. Jackson rattles out. Good effort there. Pass deflected. No look dish. We're going to get a travel call on Amari Johnson. Opportunity wasted right there. And, and speaking of Amari Johnson, I was going to say great effort on his part to come in and uh, almost snag an offensive rebound. Grant ultimately got it, and you know we see how it played out. But Johnson's hustling, and that's what Grant or that's what Clark needs. It's a nice layup from Randy Kyles. Fights through the contact. Layup is good. 41-29. Springfield Grant up now with about a minute to play in the third quarter. As Jackson drives, floats off the mark. Generals come down with another rebound. Singleton Lott looking to go coast to coast. Pulls up from 14. Yes, sir. Now I tell you what, Springfield Grant doesn't care how big the lead is. They're pushing it. They're looking to get buckets. And that's what you got to do in a game like this. It's very, very fast moving. True. It's East St. Louis looks for a response. Three ball, Williams. He traveled. That can't help the momentum. I was thinking to myself that Clark needs, this needs to be a single digit game going into the fourth. If it's single digits, it's anyone's game. I don't know how they score four points before the quarter. Uh, or I guess it would be five to cut it to single digits, but. Lot breaks the press. It's Kyles loses his handle. Scott comes down with the loose ball. You're gonna get a foul call. That one will be on. Randy Kyles. And that'll only be the second foul of the half, both on Grant. You know, Springfield, Springfield Grant's playing right into the hands of what East St. Louis, I mean, they're still pushing it. They're still, you know, playing sloppy with it. I mean, you got a 14 point lead. You got to, you know, at least take some time off the clock. Because if you take quick shots and turn the ball over, you're playing right into what they want to do, get back in the game. Absolutely, Grant continuing to control the tempo. Scott. Looks for his man on the inside. Cunningham's about 10 footer or shorter is good. 31 43 now. Three on the clock, two on the clock, three ball. Oh. It's good. Cast Money Millionaire for Randy Kyles at the buzzer. How about the, that momentum going into the fourth quarter? What a shot. 
Huge shot right I, there, man. I don't think that Grant could have ended that quarter any better. No, they, points. they win that quarter by 10 points. That's a 10-point quarter swing right there. And so, guys, my question to you now, does Clark have any semblance of an opportunity down 15 with six minutes left? You know, based on what we saw in the first quarter, they were really trying to shoot the ball from the perimeter, and they didn't find success doing that. And that's what they got to do now in the fourth quarter. That's what it comes down to. They need to start making their threes. They need to make those three balls. If they can't do that, this game is over. Yeah. Anything to add on that, Miller? Um, you know, yeah, they got to make shots, but they got to start turning. They got to turn them over because because they're not going to win if they don't if they keep playing back and forth, trading buckets. That's not going to happen. Fifteen points, six minutes, not going to happen. They're going to have to trade buckets and they're going to have to score and get stops. As we hand it over to my partner Joey Wright for play by play, he'll take us home. Springfield Generals up 46 to 31 on East St. Louis Clark Cardinals. Well, Larry, in those middle quarters, man, you sounded great as always. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. Appreciate it. Must say, and six minutes left on the board. Glad to have you with us on Urbana Public Television. One more quarter left in the season. We are underway, and it's Clark setting up three ball. Maury and Wiley, no good. Rebound corralled by Grant. Good shot selection there. I like that shot for the Cardinals. Grant drawing the foul. That will go against Wiley, I believe. That'll be his first. Wiley just checked into the game. Some new personnel, some fresh legs checking in for Clark. Probably looking for those three-point shooters here off the bench. Yeah, I would imagine. This is, of course, the first we've seen from Wiley, and he came in and took a three, so not a bad guess there. Mid-range jumper is good. Kishon singleton lott 17-point game, and Grant in the driver's seat. Driving inside is Clark, no good. Getting his own rebound, putting it back up, can't do it. Rebound, this will be a jump ball favoring Grant. Demarion Brown tied it up. And that was Caleb Williams who put up the shot and grabbed his own rebound. Time running out for East St. Louis Clark. Got to make the layups there. Driving inside is Singleton Lott. Pulling up from the free throw line and getting it. 50 points for Grant. 50 to 31 our score. Mason Clark on the ropes. Down 19. 5.06 left. It's Wiley inside to Brown. Passes tip. Brown gets it back and puts it up. Can't get it. Out of bounds, last touch by Grant. How about Singleton Lott? He cannot miss no. in the fourth quarter in this championship game. And he's getting what a performance. And he's getting after it on defense. He's Absolutely. hustling all over the place, their whole team. Playing some great defense. Open the game strong in the first quarter. Finishing it strong in the fourth. Set to inbound is Clark. Not over with yet. Three from the corner is short. Rebound, Grant. Bringing it down is JV on Bardwell. Singleton Lott back to Bardwell and Grant slowing it down. 443 left in the game. 19-point game, but it really doesn't feel like it in this arena. Oh! Kishon Singleton Lott, 53 to 31. 430 left to play. Grant pouring it on as Clark tries to fight back from the free throw strike. No good. A tail of two halves. And Grant. Dominating the second half. You know, I like to say, Joey, in games like this, big players do big things in big games. Singleton Lott is doing just that. 19 it points in the semifinal win against Colin Powell. Driving inside, he's got two more here. 55. Absolutely going off. 55 31, timeout, East St. Louis. He has no. And Singleton Lott has no conscience. He does not care. He will. He was. He's scoring. He is on a roll, and he's not going to get out of this rhythm. This game's over. This is all. This You're is all, it. This is all but cooked, man. Singleton Lott has turned the lights off for Springfield Grant. Man, this game is about likely. all she wrote coming out of the oven. Yeah, pipe it hot, ready to eat. This is. This is done. Well, it'll be a 24-point comeback with four minutes left. Figure you've got to outscore your opponent by six points every minute. Guys, you're right. I, I don't see it. Especially with your leading scorer playing like he is. On fire. 
I mean, geez, give and me a Frigel. break. Unreal. Scored 19 points in the semifinal game. Probably going to post a number just like that, if not more, in this and championship I, game. He's not done either. I'm, oh, absolutely he, He's, he's going to keep shooting. Set to go, 4 2 remaining. I mean, let's just take a, take a minute, though, to, to savor this. I mean, he's ultra-efficient here in the second half. I don't think he's missed. Yeah, I no, can't, I can't I, if he's, he, he's made at least five shots. He's perfect from the field. He hasn't missed the second half. Miller, you, you've been, you play for Urbana High School. You've been on the other end of some of these games in the past. What do you do down by 24 uh, situation like this? You got to keep playing. I mean, you can't give up. I mean, I mean, you still represent in your city, you know, all these fans that came down here. You got to keep playing and see what happens, you know. Anything can happen, anything's possible. Not a shot at Urbana, of course. Four great years at UHS for me. Turnover, Grant going the other way. That's what you gotta do with Singleton Light. You just can't let him get those easy buckets at the rack. You gotta foul him, as tough as it is. He'll probably make the free throws if his three ball is any indication or his mid-range jumper, but nonetheless. Yep. Singleton Lott's first free, well. Plank, you might have jinxed him there. Yeah, do you believe in the announcer <laughs> jinx I, at all, Larry? I am a big believer in the broadcaster jinx, actually. We've discussed this in the past, Joey. We have, luckily for Singleton Lot, 24 point game instead of a two point game. Indeed. And this this crowd, it's this gym is still electric. These Grant fans are just minutes away from the title and they know that. Three ball for oh. Clark, no good. Grant the rebound, who else but Singleton Lot? I feel as if the Cardinals have yet to find their stroke in this game, period. I mean, sure, there's 31 points on the scoreboard, but man, they can't make any threes. That was a floater. Kishon Singleton Lott got it to go. Who else? That's that's the story of the game. Yep. I mean, they haven't been able to hit shots. I mean, and these shots aren't even close. And Case because point. that's their game plan, you know that they're capable of doing it. Yep. They wouldn't be shooting these threes if they weren't capable. So it's almost disappointing to see them play like this in the championship game. It's disheartening for a team like this, especially it's a middle school team. Yeah. So, you know, to think about what's going through these guys' heads right now, it's got to be tough. But they've still got another four years of high school basketball to play. They just got to keep their heads up. They made it this far. Yeah, and a bright future for East St. Louis Clark. I mean, that region you, you alluded to earlier, is it's a basketball hotbed, and they'll, they'll get plenty of opportunities to prove themselves at the IHSA level. Uh, but you live by the three, you die by the three. And oh, I might have missed a foul right Passed there. away this evening. Yeah. East St. Louis has got, this team has got players. I yeah. mean, Scott, he's going to be a player. Brown, I mean, you already see it with the, with the you know, athleticism, something you can't teach. The sky's the limit for, for them. I mean, don't let them, don't let this game, you know, dishearten it's their Scott's talent. In, yep, Scott's inbound, he gets it back here, dishes it out back up top. Foul is called, and that'll be Maxwell Jackson going to the line. I don't think East St. Louis Clark has scored in this fourth quarter. All right. They have yet to score in the quarter. Yep. I'd like to take a minute here as Maxwell Jackson goes to the line to thank Urbana Middle School for hosting us tonight. As I mentioned during the third place game, Urbana Middle School has hosted this tournament since 2015. Uh, and every year it seems to get better. They seem to do a better and better job with it each year. Uh, this is the third state title game that we've done with Urbana Public Television in, the, in this five year span. And uh, just a whale of a job by Kevin Helmick and this entire Urbana Middle School staff for Welcoming us, welcoming us here uh, this afternoon, this evening, and uh, letting us watch a show. That's what we've had here tonight. Maxwell Jackson goes in, can't get it. Also a thank you to Urbana Public Television, our producer Jason Liggett uh, for helping us put this together. Matt Harrington behind our camera tonight. I'm Joey Wright with Miller Calhoun and Larry Larson. Three ball from Grant, no good. 
despite the score, still hustling on every play, Springfield. And you, and you like to see it. Springfield Grant is, they know they're a minute and 51 seconds away from what you worked so hard all year for. You can't help but have this energy. Yeah. Guessing we're gonna see some subs in here not too long. I mean, this is a great game played by Springfield Grant. Nothing to get down about if you're East St. Louis, but. No, the, the first half of basketball tonight was amazing to say the least. One of the best first halves I've seen at any level in terms of energy, enthusiasm. East St. Louis Clark will be back. Yeah, they will. He's made they're they're always here yeah. every year, I mean. That just shows how the great basketball talent that's in East St. Louis. I mean, they're here every year. Clark and Grant both prepping to make some substitutions. I've mentioned this before. Uh, Larry. Matt Harrington and myself, all students at Bradley University. I dragged you guys down here tonight, but I don't think this is you guys' final trip to the IESA State Basketball Tournament. I mean, based on, on this first trip, man, I it's, you know, exceeded my expectations. I didn't think much. I didn't have very high expectations <laughs> for a middle school basketball event. However, it, is, it has been phenomenal basketball. Even in the blowouts, it's fun to watch. Yeah. I think what that is is just the school, it takes you back to when you're in school, rooting for your team. Uh, in my years at Urbana Middle School and High School, we never made a deep playoff run uh, in basketball, but just thinking of what these students, what's going through their minds, you hear the joy in the Springfield Grant fans as they continue to cheer. It's just, it just takes you back to those days in, in middle school. And for the kids who are in middle school, it's the ultimate dream. State titles, what you work for, and Grant's just 66 seconds away. Got to be happy for the kids. You yeah. know, this is a great, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, experience, and they'll remember this for the rest of their lives. I mean, especially Springfield Grant knowing that they won, but you know, great memories are gonna come from this. And not necessarily, I mean, it is a negative for East St. Louis Clark losing in the title game, but like anything in life, use it as a learning experience. Move forward from this. Remember how painful it was to lose in the state title game. That's, and, that's the extra motivation. Yep. And just, mo to, just to get better, yeah. Yep. Motivated and back. You hear it from professional athletes. There's no better motivation than losing, you know, that having that bitter taste in your mouth. They all talk about it. And then you never know if you're gonna make it back to a site title game like this or a title game at all. Yep. So stages only get bigger from here. Absolutely. Three from Grant, no good. And Grant continuing to hoist up some jumpers. If we get a dead ball, I'll highlight everyone in the game because these groups are new. In the hands now of Jacob Ornstein. So it looks like the five for Grant now. DeAndre Stewart is in the game. Justin Marshall is in the game. Uh, Jacob Ornstein is in the game. I see, it looks like uh, James Pizunas is in the game and uh, Kyan McGee, or Kyan McGee. Foul called against Clark and for Clark I see Marion Miller is in. Quentin Stepney. Jaquan Stennis. Cortez Jackson. And see who the fifth player is here. I want to say that's, that's Lamarcus Jackson, number two. That's the 10 players in the game right now. The biggest stage that IESA basketball has to offer. And before you know it, we'll be at the biggest stage IHSA has to offer at Carver Arena in Peoria. Absolutely. 15 seconds left. It has not happened since 2010. 
Springfield Grant puts up one more shot, goes out of bounds, and in 8.6 seconds, Springfield Grant will raise the trophy. Clark has never won a title. That streak will continue, and Grant will raise another one. The clock ticks down to zero, and the Generals have won the state championship. They celebrate at midcourt, preparing for the customary post-game handshake. I see one of the players' warm-up shir uh, shirts Stay humble, stay hungry, it says on the back of it, and Springfield Grant will eat well tonight, your 2018-19 IESA 8-4A state champions. What a, what a performance. They were just absolutely unconscious in the second half. They could not miss. And on the other hand, East St. Louis, Clark, they just couldn't find the bottom of the bucket. It was, it was almost sad to watch. And it's just one of those things yeah. where it's luck. I mean, you can't have a great shooting night every night. And unfortunately for them, they didn't have a great night no. for the state title game, yeah. which is really unfortunate. But it happens. Miller, final thoughts? Um, you know, you know, this is a one-game type of thing. You know, it's not a series like baseball. And Springfield Grant just happened to be the better team tonight, yep. you know. And, you know, they made shots. East St. Louis didn't. And, you know, they win the game. And just and, and you look at the second half, I feel like that overshadows the amazing first half we saw. I mean, it looked like it was going to be anyone's game. Yeah, I mean, this, so much fun. this game was neck and neck the first half. I and mean, there's no question about that. Springfield Grant comes out. They will improve to 28 and 1. That's how they'll finish on the year. East St. Louis Clark moves down to 25 and 3. UMS Athletic Director Kevin Helmick is presenting the medals and trophies. We will, however, step away. We thank you for joining our coverage of IESA basketball tonight on Urbana Public Television for our pool crew, Jason Liggett, Matt Harrington, Miller Calhoun, Larry Larson, I'm Joey Wright. We leave you with a final congratulations to Springfield Grant as the Generals are your 2018-19 IESA 8-4A state champions. Thanks for tuning in.